In this training, we're going to take a look at time inside of SmartSuite. We're looking at three different fields, the duration field, the time field, and the time log field. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Let's start by hopping into my screen where I already have these three different fields built for us here inside of my SmartSuite app. The first one is duration. In order to create this, simply add a new field and look for the duration field type. Inside of duration, you'll see that we've got four different options that we can toggle on or off in terms of how we want to display this different time duration. So are we looking at days or is it simply hours, minutes, and or seconds? And of course, as always, you can require an entry in this field. And we can also look at display options. We can go compact, standard, or long. I'll keep it standard for now, and I will go ahead and update this field. And in order to use the duration field, we just type minutes, hours, etc. So I might say one hour, five minutes, and hit enter here, and it automatically goes in just like this. Also notice that I didn't have to use full language here. SmartSuite is smart enough to know what I meant. So I go one H, and maybe 15 M and that's going to be translated to one hour, 15 minutes. Alternatively, if I go back in here and I add days here as well, I'll update the field and I might say something like 96 hours and smart suite does the math for us and automatically converts that to four days. So pretty cool field for tracking a duration of time. Now let's look at the time field itself. This again, going into the field settings here is simply a field type called time. And there are no other display format options here. This is the only way it can show up. And when we're inside of the time field, we're simply putting in hours and minutes. So I might go in and say something like 8.45 AM, for example. You'll notice that the default times here are in 15 minute increments. If I don't like that, well, I can always instead select one and then go back in and change the time manually inside of that particular cell. So I might say 612 AM, for example. So there we are for the time field. Let's now take a look at the last one, the time tracking log. This is its own field type, time tracking log. And when you establish it, you'll get the display format of either pill or text, which either one up to you. I'll choose text in this case so we can see it. Also the standard option of requiring an entry in the field. And once we're good with that, we simply use the same notation that we did in the duration field to bring in time for this particular time tracker. So I might say something like, I just worked on something for one hour. So let's click in there and say one, whoop, right here, one hour, five minutes, and I will say add time. I can also pick the day that I performed that time on as well. Once I'm happy with that, make that selection, and you'll notice that the time is added there. But that's not all. Where this gets even cooler is I can add or stack additional time on here. So if I add an extra two hours here, I'll just click into the field again and say add. And here I'll go two hours and select a day and a time. And now the time tracker automatically sums all those different logs that I've added into this particular field. Now I want to point out that at this point, we don't see the breakdown of those times unless we first select that arrow right there. And that's what's going to show us the breakdown of the different pieces that came up to make this total time track right here. So a pretty cool feature inside of SmartSuite. This is really helpful for watching as time is tracked for tasks. I also want to point out that you can access the values from these fields in formulas. And so this will help you if you're creating budgets or anything like that, comparing actuals to projections, anything around that where you have budgeted time or actual time that you're looking at in a project, these fields are gonna come in really handy. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.